Ganges unquestionably the holiest river in the whole world legend has it that after bhagiratha did penance for thousands of years shiva the compassionate lord sent the ganges down from heaven in this kali age that same compassionate lord in human form has created a new ganges to quench the thirst of millions even without waiting for their prayers in other words this is the story of sachcha sai ganga bringing relief to millions in chennai putting an end to almost 50 years of suffering caused by acute drinking water shortage our story begins in the early 1600s when the british landed on the east coast of south india here the british built a fort fort st george that stands to this day and around this fort grew the city of madras now known as chennai Right from the beginning, Madras faced water shortage. In 1886, the British built a dam across a neighboring river and used that water both for irrigation and for drinking. As years passed by, more reservoirs were added and they were networked. But all this was not enough and something more had to be done. Madras or Chennai receives water mainly during the northeast monsoon but the northeast monsoon is fickle and often fails by contrast the krishna river is fed by the southwest monsoon and receives plenty of water by 1950 it was clear that krishna water alone could relieve the drinking water problem of chennai years passed and nothing happened until in 1983 mg ramchandran then chief minister of tamil nadu met nt ramarao then chief minister of andhra ntr had already made grand plans to harness krishna water for irrigation via his telugu ganga scheme ntr agreed to accommodate mgr's request as a part of his telugu ganga scheme A little later the scheme for supplying Krishna water to Chennai was formally inaugurated by Indira Gandhi In this scheme water was to be first drawn from the Krishna river at Sri Salem This water was then to be taken to Somasila reservoir From Somasila the water was to be sent next to the kandaleru reservoir from kandaleru a special canal roughly 150 kilometers long was to take water to chennai this canal was then called the kandaleru pundi canal in 1996 the kandaleru pundi canal whose construction was started in 1983 was formally declared open what was released from the kandaleru reservoir but very little of that water reached chennai dreams built over the years lay shattered The city had grown meanwhile thanks especially to the IT boom making the drinking water situation even worse to add to the misery in recent years 
the northeast monsoon failed repeatedly leaving all the reservoirs completely dry this was the state of the pundi reservoir then this state continued till such a sai ganga water came recently to chennai This was the state of Red Hills Lake during the drought. This shows how the canal leading to the Pundi Reservoir looked then. No water. This is a view of the spot where the canal water is supposed to enter Pundi. Thanks to drought, temple tank now becomes a cricket ground. In every street and slum people anxiously waited for tanker water Often people had to wait till night since one could not say when the tanker would come to supply water to the city the municipal authorities brought water through pipes from aquifers outside the city to various pump houses in city there the water was filled into tankers Here we see tankers leaving after getting filled. Municipal water supply was very restricted, only 3 buckets per family. That is when private operators enter the tanker business. The water that the private operators supplied was dirty, though the rates were high. at times as much as a thousand rupees per tanker we see here a municipal tanker arriving to deliver water to a particular locality the tanker leaves after filling the local syntex tank following which people collect their share These people have had to wait till night for water delivery. This has been the situation day after day till such as I Ganga water reached Chennai recently. Now we today 
மூணு குடங்க டெய்லி வரும் லாரி ஒரு டேங்க் தண்ணி எடுக்கிறதுனால வந்து எனக்கு வந்து ஸ்டடிஸ் அஃபெக்ட் ஆகுது தண்ணி கஷ்டத்தால ரொம்ப பாதிக்கிறோம் கொஞ்ச நாள் நிம்மதியா தூங்க முடியல பண கஷ்டம் எல்லாருக்குமே தண்ணி கஷ்டம்ன்றது எல்லாருக்குமே இருக்கு இது என்னைக்கு சால்வ் ஆகும் தெரியல தண்ணி எடுக்கிறதா வேலைக்கு போறதா என்ன சரி எனக்கு ஒன்னும் புரியல தண்ணி வந்து சில நாள் காலையில மூணு மணிக்கு வந்துருது அதனால நாங்க அதாவது ரெண்டு மணில இருந்து தூங்காம சில நாள் எல்லாம் எதிர்பார்த்துட்டு இருக்கோம் சில நாள் திடீர்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா காலையில எட்டு மணிக்கு வரும் அதனால ரொம்ப கஷ்டமா இருக்கும் அந்த தண்ணியில சமைச்சு கொடுக்குற சாப்பாடு நல்லா சுத்தமா இருக்க மாட்டேங்குது குழந்தைங்களுக்கு வயிற்று வலி பேதி எல்லாம் வருது இதுக்காக மழை வந்தா நல்லா இருக்கும் இதுக்காக சாயிரம் நாங்க ப்ரே பண்றோம் கஷ்டமா இருக்கு லாரில தான் வாங்குறா லாரில கூட கரெக்டா லாரி கரெக்டா லாரி வர மாட்டாங்க ஏன்னா டே டைம்ல லாரி உள்ள வரக்கூடாது நைட்ல தான் வரணும் தண்ணி எடுக்கிற இடத்துல அவங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப ப்ராப்ளமா இருக்கு அங்கே ஜனங்க விட மாட்டேன்றாங்க அதெல்லாம் ரொம்ப கஷ்டமா இருக்கு டெய்லி தண்ணி போ லாரி வாங்கி தான் ஆகணும் இல்லைன்னா இங்க பிசினஸ் பண்ண முடியாது அந்த அளவு கஷ்டமா இருக்கு சி பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் ப்ராப்ளம் த டிராபிக் ஹஸ் பிகம் வெரி வெரி கஞ்சஸ்டட் ஆல் ஆர் பிளாக்ட் பை தி லாரிஸ் வி ஆர் கெட்டிங் லாட் ஆஃப் ஆக்சிடென்ட் கேசஸ் we get lot of diseases like uh, sporadic cases of uh, typhoid and um, cholera and diarrhea what is contaminated about a few weeks ago i admitted a man with chest pain you know what brought about his chest pain he has to here to carry this kodams of water up to his flat which is on the third floor many buildings don't have lifts up to the third floor and he had to carry this water up and he was a hypertensive and this too in the middle of the night because they don't know when the tanni lorry will come okay and he developed chest pain so you see how something like water shortage can lead to even a heart attack financial health is devastated most middle class families end up spending more than 1000 rupees a month this is the fundamental need which has to be addressed my husband and i also work in certain homes for uh, destitute people in one such home we getting water from the villages in tankers one fine day suddenly all the inmates turned blue because the water from the village areas was contaminated with nitrates which is then the fertilizer nitrate contaminated water can result in a poisoning known as methemoglobinemia the inmates all started turning blue i got a frantic call at night i slept the whole night in that home luckily by god's grace we were able to rush the badly affected people to some icu in some uh, hospitals and they all survived everybody survived there was no casualty all recovered but just look at that contamination of water so we're facing a lot of problems and then in january 2002 Something totally unexpected happened. It was the first anniversary of Bhagwan Baba's super speciality hospital in Bangalore. There was a health meet organized to mark the occasion. And in the course of his divine discourse During that meet Swami took everyone by surprise by making a most extraordinary announcement ee naadu pavithram enti yokka ee samayam nandu yenu marukutu kuda nu sankalpinchukunnanu bhagavan has willed another at this sacred moment of time madras rashtram lopala thragadaniki neeru ledhu there in the state of tamil nadu madras there is no water ఏదో ధనవంతులు లారీలతోనో లేక బండ్లతోనో తెప్పించుకొని త్రాగగలుగుతున్నారు రిచ్ పీపుల్ కెన్ అఫోర్డ్ టు బై వాటర్ ఫ్రమ్ లాంగ్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఈ బీద ప్రజలు ఏ నీటి ని కొనుకోగలరు హౌ డు ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ పూర్ పీపుల్ టు బై వాటర్ ఏ నీటి ప్రాణాలను నిలుపుకోగలరు హౌ కెన్ దే కంటిన్యూ టు లివ్ కలుగునే వర్షంతో పడినటువంటి ఆ గుంతల్లో నీరు త్రాగి ఆరోగ్యాన్ని పాడు చేసుకుంటున్నారు ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ దే జస్ట్ డ్రింక్ ద వాటర్ దట్ ఆస్ దేర్ ఇన్ పిట్స్ దేర్ అవుట్ ద రెయిన్ అండ్ స్పాయిల్ దేర్ హెల్త్ కలుగుని ఎంత నష్టమైన సరియే ఎంత కష్టమైన సరియే మెడ్రాస్ కంత కూడాను మంచి నీరు అందించాలని నేను let it be very difficult let it be a stupendous magnificent task bhagavan has decided to supply drinking water idi tappaka nerveruthundi it is bound to be successful ee sandeham ledhu don't doubt it aa drudamaina kanti vishwasanni manavudu abhiruddhi parichukovali you should have strong faith in these things the people of chennai had not specifically prayed to swami to solve their problems but the lord does not wait for prayers when his children are in deep distress he rushes to their aid as he promised to do now
Chennai did not receive water properly via the Kandaleru Pundi Canal because due to paucity of funds, the reservoir and the canal were executed basically as earthwork. However, the consequences were disastrous. The slope of the Kandaleru Reservoir became prone to leakage and erosion and bushes started to grow. As for the canal, its walls too were prone to erosion. In many places, there was silting of the bed and seepage losses. Much water was also lost by leakage from the sides of the canal. A few months after Swami's dramatic announcement, the Sri Satchasai Central Trust initiated action on rejuvenating and reviving the entire Kandaleru Pundi Canal, starting with the Kandaleru Reservoir. Often, work went on day and night, And when the work at Kandaleru was completed, this is how it looked. Incidentally, the storage capacity of the Kandaleru reservoir was tripled. Everywhere, a totally professional approach was adopted. First, a proper profile was designed for the canal sides in accordance with the requirements of hydraulics. Next, silt was removed wherever necessary and the canal bed was properly prepared. It is only after these preliminary preparations that the paving of the canal was done. Here too, there were three stages. First, a layer of concreting was done. On this was then placed a special imported high-density polyethylene film to totally eliminate seepage losses. On top of this film, another layer of concrete was then added. For paving the canal, special machines called pavers were employed. As many as nine pavers were pressed into service so that work could proceed simultaneously in many places. Here we see the paving of the canal bed in progress. After paving comes curing. What a contrast between the unlined and the lined portions of the canal. A grand view of the canal after lining. Notice its width. Another view of the canal 
after lining and this is how it was before to take care of sudden and unexpected flooding three escape structures were specially constructed about 4000 workers were employed and the project was completed in record time in keeping with swami's assurance the sri satya sai central trust spared no expense aiming at perfection in all about 200 crore rupees were spent so that the people of chennai would not have to go thirsty any more in recognition of all this the andhra government has now renamed the kandaleru pundi canal as satya sai ganga Coinciding with Swami's 79th birthday, the Andhra government decided to release water for Chennai from Kandaleru. Welcoming the release, engineers of Tamil Nadu Water Works performed a puja at Kandaleru prior to the release on 23rd of November 2004. This is a photo taken on the occasion. After puja the engineers joyfully watched the water flow out of the Kandaleru dam towards Chennai after waiting for more than half a century a dream was at last coming true the water raised at Kandaleru on 23rd November reached zero point at the Andhra Tamil Nadu border at 6 pm on monday the 27th november 2004 interestingly this happened to be bhagwan's birthday according to telugu calendar thus both the release of water at kandaleru and its arrival at chennai coincided with joyful and most sacred festivals this is the photo taken when the water had just reached the zero point next morning some of the residents of the villages near zero point celebrated the arrival of sai ganga water besides expressing gratitude to bhagwan We will now take a tour along Satya Sai Ganga starting with the Kandaleru reservoir. A grand view of the huge water storage now possible. A close up of the special reinforcement of the reservoir wall. This is the channel that brings water from the reservoir to the dam in Kandaleru from where water is released to Chennai. This shows the road above the dam shutters. Notice the name of the board. Earlier the name that appeared was Kandaleru Pundi Canal. After its rebirth blessed by the lord the canal now has a new name naturally view of the channel leading from the sluice gates to pundi water flowing out of the sluice gates towards chennai
And now, Sacha Sai Ganga is on its way to quench the thirst of millions in Chennai. A view of Sacha Sai Ganga as it gently flows south towards Chennai. This is Swarnamukhi River near the sacred town of Kalahasti. Believe it or not, Sacha Sai Ganga flows above the river through an aqueduct below the bridge. The aqueduct is 770 meters long. A view of the canal as it emerges from the aqueduct. One of the several escape structures that have been built as a part of Swami's project. Thanks to Krishna water, in many places one sees lush fields. And this tollway near the canal is liked not only by vehicles, but one of man's good animal friends. Another aqueduct across a small river. Here we see Sacha Sai Ganga emerging from the aqueduct. It's not all plain sailing. In some places, the canal has to flow in hilly terrain. Like the Ganges, Sacha Sai Ganga also offers scenic beauty. Here we see the hill has been cut to help the canal to flow. What a beautiful and grand panoramic view.
Swami says, don't waste water. In keeping with that, engineers have enabled rainwater from the hills to flow into Satchasai Ganga. Here we see another view of the inlet that allows rainwater to flow into the canal. Such a Sai Ganga has emerged from hilly terrain and now flows gently towards Chennai. What's happening here? Oh, it's an old woman helping herself to Ganga Jal. And for this boy, Satcha Sai Ganga is a nice place to dive for a holy dip. Now, after traveling about 150 kilometers, Satchasai Ganga finally crosses from Andhra to Tamil Nadu at the zero point. This is the scene near zero point now. This is a view of Satcha Sai Ganga emerging from the other side of the bridge at zero point hastening to merge in Pundi. Having entered Tamil Nadu, Satchasai Ganga is now flowing towards Pundi. At Swarnamukhi River, Sai Ganga flowed above the river. Here across the Arni River near Chennai, water flows through a tunnel below the river. Water entering the tunnel below the Arni River. When there is water in Arni, that water flows 
above the concrete slabs towards the sea sai ganga on the other hand always flows below through the tunnel towards pune water is now coming out of the tunnel below arni river into the last lap and here we see such a sai ganga rapidly approaching pune reservoir there it is such a sai ganga finally merging with pune ఎంత నష్టమైనా సరే ఎంత కష్టమైనా సరే మెడ్రాస్ కంత కూడా మంచి నీరు అందించాలని నేను సంకల్పించుకుంటున్నాను లెట్ ఇట్ బి వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ లెట్ ఇట్ బి స్టూపెండస్ మగ్నిఫిసెంట్ టాస్క్ భగవాన్ హస్ డిసైడెడ్ టు సప్లై డ్రింకింగ్ వాటర్ ఇది తప్పక నెరవేరుతుంది ఇట్ వీస్ బౌండ్ టు బి సక్సెస్ఫుల్ ఇది సందేహమే లేదు డోంట్ డౌట్ ఇట్ ఆ దృఢమైనటువంటి విశ్వాసాన్ని మానవుడు అభివృద్ధి పరుచుకోవాలి యు షుడ్ హావ్ స్ట్రాంగ్ ఫేత్ ఇన్ దిస్ థింగ్ yes such as i being the embodiment of truth his words always come true barely a few months ago this was the state of pundi This is a picture that appeared in one of the Chennai dailies on 17th December 2004 within 20 days after the first arrival of water Pundi now shows 0.78 TMC What a grand panorama Pundi presents now celebrating their salvation from misery 3000 devotees from chennai flocked to prashanti nilayam on 12th of december 2004 to personally express their gratitude to bhagwan baba just before they left this is what some of them had to say baba avurudey tanipatta ivuri blessings tha madras metro ku water kadachirukku adha sandhayame illa swami vandu inda sai ganga sai ganga engra prema gangeyila enga ellarum mulugu adichuttar na idha first thara vandiruka sai baba avude anugrahathala romba nalla edama idu pannirukke engalukku chennai makkalukku thanni kuduthathila vandu sai baba ku 100 thara illa 1000 thara vendra avlo thanks solla தண்ணி கூட குடிக்க இல்லாம அப்படி நாங்க கஷ்டப்படுறச்சே பகவான் வந்து ஹெல்ப் பண்ணி எங்களுக்கு இன்னைக்கு சாய் கங்கா ப்ராஜெக்ட் பண்ணி ரொம்ப ஹெல்ப் பண்ணிருக்காரு அது கோடி கோடி பிரணாம் பாபா கேட்டு தரங்க கேட்டு